Welcome to Taurus, my lord. I'm Captain Hellid, Imperial Military Command. Your arrival was unexpected. The Supreme Commander of Imperial Forces on Taurus has requested a word. Darth Gravis, the new arrival. I sense your presence. Such mastery of the Force is rare and impressive. Care to lend your lightsaber to Taurus's destruction? What's happening here? It's simple, really. The Republic's trying to rebuild Taris. We're here to demolish it. If you desire to stand by my side and serve the Empire, swat down the Republic artillery firing on our base. If I can spare the time. Make the time. Wound the Republic. Seek me out when the artillery's in pieces. And then we'll discuss your role in the greater conflict. The Republic artillery is in pieces, Darth Gravis. I hope you enjoyed yourself. The Republic infestation is slowly rebuilding Taris. Left untreated, we'll be faced with a military staging point and symbol of Republic fortitude. I'm back, Master. I slaughtered every one of them, then crushed their artillery. A fascinating story. Unfortunately, the true destroyer of the artillery stands before you. Fanavesh, meet the latest addition to my circle. Hunt in my territory again, and you're dead. We're all friends of the Empire here. Don't lecture me. Save your anger, Fanna. We must focus our power to bring down the Republic's military leader, Com Order. He commands a battalion set to drive us off, Taris. Only the weak flee. That is why we will win. But first, we must strip Order of his strength. Republic troops are in short supply this far from the base, so Order's been arming Cathar settlers to attack us. Cathar beasts are vicious enough without Republic weapons. They must be neutralized. There's no need to kill everyone. Destroying the Cathar's gun stores will render them harmless. If you're not up for the bloodbath, leave it to me. No, Thana. Your failure with the artillery has earned you a secondary assignment. As you wish, Master. Remove this Cathar threat. Then we'll be one step closer to Order's defeat. The Cathar won't bother you anymore. I wiped out their weapons. I hope they don't perceive your distaste for bloodshed as Imperial weakness. If only Thana were here to observe your swift victory. I'm back, and I brought a friend. He's one of Order's guards. I had some fun with him. Wasn't until I killed his buddies that he finally talked. Pain twists the truth. He'd say anything to avoid your torment. Your weak stomach will get you nowhere on Terrace. Go on, officer. Spill your story. And no whimpering this time. Commander Orda. He's got walkers hidden near his base. They'll ambush anyone who attacks. That's all I know. Please release me. <laughs> okay, okay. The walkers can't be detected by probes. Only Order's top operatives have the coordinates, and they're encoded. Is this the best you can find, Thana? A lowly officer with second-hand information. He's all we need, Master. I'll attack Order's base myself and rip those walkers apart. Take them out before we attack. Then Order will be defenseless. Sneaking around won't do us any good. On the contrary, Thana. We must crush Order's walkers before storming his base. We'll find them by slaying his operatives for their coordinate codes. His men have gunned down many Imperials, so don't hold back. With the coordinates, our bomber squadrons will decimate the walkers. I can't wait to feel the aftershocks. Thank you. Such a mission demands only the best. Thana? Wait here, and train for our assault against Order. No! I've wasted enough time enslaved to you, Gravis. Enjoy your new pet! And my apprentice breaks her leash. 
Thana's strength with the Force is magnificent. But she's only focused when prodded into a rage. And I see she's abandoned her poor friend. We'll have to dispose of him. Wait! Please don't hurt me! I... I told you everything I know! Trade him to the Republic for their captives. In the meantime, don't rough him up. Hmm... A fine idea. He'll make a good bargaining chip. Kill the operatives. Then hand their coordinates over to Major Nost, the head of the Imperial Bomber Command. He's already stationed at our outpost. I look forward to hearing of the Walker's destruction. I have the Walker's coordinates. Darth Gravis wants them blown to pieces. Gladly. Imperial Bomber Command never disappoints. My lord, I'm transmitting the coordinates to my bombers now. They're ready to strike Alder's Walkers at your command. Excellent. Hither now, Major. Pardon me, Lord Gravis. It's your apprentice. She's taken Imperial forces, launched her own attack against Commander Order. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. We'll deal with her. Thana's volatility is both a strength and a weakness. She'll destroy much, but she can't defeat Order alone. This gets more fun by the minute. Look on the bright side. The more Republic forces alerted to your strike, the more you can kill. You'll find Order's base in an old purification facility. Tear down his defenses and find my rogue apprentice. Only together can you slaughter the Republic's leader. Order's offensive will soon come to an end. This will be a historic victory for the Empire. End Order's life. And I'll add a special prize if you kill more soldiers than my wayward apprentice. doing here? Order's mine. You Sith are all alike. Quick to anger and quick to fall. The Republic will not fail here. Terrace will rise again. This planet's destined to be a monument of Republic failure. Confident words for someone clearly outnumbered. For the Republic! You can't destroy Terrace. The Republic's too strong. Oh, my head. Cheap trick order. If you don't kill him, I will. Order's my prisoner. We'll drill him for intel on the Republic's defenses. You won't get a word out of me. Master Gravis will be displeased with your mercy. I didn't mean to disappoint you. At least I get to spend some more time with our captive. Come on, Order. Interrogation awaits. We're going to have a fun trip. Mola, my dear. Don't lie. Tell me about the Red Ghouls. I'm just a xenozoologist. I've told you everything. Ah! Forgive me, my lord. I get so wrapped up in my interrogations, I lose my head. I'm Melkor Din, chief interrogator. Lord Gravis told me you'd come to stop the Republic and our Rack Ghoul threat. Depends on what you want me to do. We need to destroy the sewers and drive the Republic out. Unfortunately, this is Rack Ghoul territory. Those vicious mutants swarm the sewers 
tearing apart everything and anyone that gets in their way. Serves you right. Sith created the Rackles to begin with. Mola's tongue is too free. But she's correct. An ancient Sith engineered the plague to turn humans into Ragghouls, then unleashed it on Taris. The disease survived the planet's destruction. Now, Rackles run rampant, and the Republic's herding them against us. How are they controlling the beasts? Mola's been kind enough to tell us about a reactor the Republic's decommissioning. She claims they direct the Rackles by releasing trace amounts of toxic waste from the reactor core. This sends the enraged beasts running for safety, right into Imperial territory. It's true. I saw their aversion to reactor leakage when I studied Rackle migration patterns. Exposure produced adverse effects. What did these chemicals do? During the studies we performed, radiator leakage drove them mad. Poison the Rackles, and they'll turn on everyone. You, us, each other. Perfect. We blow up the chemical stashes, poison the lot. The Rackles will be too busy feasting on Republic flesh to run our way. It's time the Republic faces Terrace's monsters. I coated the sewers in chemicals. The Rackles didn't look happy. Hear that, Mola? The Rackles will mangle your beloved Republic, and the reactor waste will soak the ground, making your cleanup impossible. Lord Gravis was right about you. The sewers will soon cease to be a threat. Silence your praise, Melkor. This planet's covered in Sith, all twice as powerful as your friend here. You're a friendly one, aren't you? I'm here to butcher Rackles, not make allies. That's enough! Thana, I trust you've come to do more than spark a fight. Watch your tone. I'm not on Darth Gravis' leash anymore. While you poisoned the sewers, I was busy slaughtering rat ghouls. One of them hit back without touching me. It was using the Force. Tell us what you know about these Force-using creatures. They're called neck ghouls. They're sentient, proficient with the Force. A whole colony of them lives in the rundown reactor. You know the penalty for lying, Mola. It's true. Master Sulan's with the Neckles now, teaching them the ways of the light side. Sulan. I know the name. Idealistic Jedi. Powerful, but foolish. If he raises these Neckles against us, we could have trouble. I suppose I can give it a look. We cannot risk ignoring Sulan. Go to the reactor Mola mentioned. See if you can find the Jedi and kill his stinking neck ghouls. This job requires true mastery of the dark side. Leave it to me. First one to overload the reactor core gets to watch the neck ghouls fry. Don't let Thana have all the fun. the sweet sound of your death. I alerted Republic security to your location. Consider it a fun challenge between friends. I'm giddy with anticipation. Enjoy yourself. You won't be around much longer. I should have sent more droids your way. Back, my students. Remember your teachings. I sense much anger in you, Sith. But it's not too late. I can help you overcome the Empire's torments. That's not even worth my attention. I wouldn't have said anything if you didn't have potential. Like you, these neck ghouls were confused, angry, destructive. Now I heal them with the Force and guide them towards the light side. 
School's out, Jedi. Your pupils are done for. I can't let you interrupt their education. Come, my students. Show them what you've learned. Such strength. You could have served the galaxy brilliantly. What are you waiting for? Overload the reactor. Let's toast this place and kill these freaks. Look at yourselves. Weak lapdogs to a pathetic Jedi. Follow his teachings and you'll die like him. But if you want to gain the kind of power I hold, embrace the darkness inside you. So then, you promised us prosperity. But your Republic is weak. No, don't let your anger erase everything you've learned. You still have a future on Terrace. But not with you. Why did you let them go? We could have made the Net Ghouls extinct. This way, we can push the Net Ghouls to fight the Republic. I say melt the monsters and be done with them. Terrace calls out for more destruction, and I'm answering. Keep your distance, or I'll carve my name into your hide. Sulan's dead. The Net Ghouls will serve us now. Darth Gravis will be pleased to hear you say the Sith's lost creations. Without their neck ghoul pets, the Republic is weak and defenseless. Darth Gravis must have another assignment for me. Of course. Taris will always require your talents. General Farvin's leading our battle against the best of the Cathar settlers. They've dug in near the wreckage of a crashed Republic cruiser, the Endar Spire. Help General Farvin against the Cathar. Crush them and we can finally strike at the Republic's base. You could join our fight. I'm General Farvin. Darth Gravis spoke highly of you, my lord. Perhaps you can show these Mandalorians how the Sith win a fight. We brought them here to help slay the Cathar, wipe the Republic off Terrace. But the Mandalorians are sloppy. No respect for a clean victory. To rout the Cathar, we need good old-fashioned Imperial might, and you, of course. Fill me in on the situation. We've hit a wall. Our mission was to scorch this entire district. Now the Republic's allies are fighting back. Cathar settlements cover this part of Taris. They're defending their homes under the leadership of a feral warrior. His name's Bashun. Some call him ferocious, brutal, terrifying. I say he's a dirty alien who needs to be put down. I suppose you have this all figured out though, right? I had an attack plotted. Everything was set. But that Cathar was ready for us. Bashun escaped our assassination attempts. Now he's deeply entrenched with state-of-the-art weaponry. Gifts from the Republic. I've got a gift of my own. Killed another ten of the Cathar's best. Few more and I can make a coat. What did I say about following me? Clear off or I'll pluck that lightsaber from your dead body. You're about as interesting to me as the Teresian wildlife. I can see right through your lies. Stop. Take your anger out on Bashun. But first, we must pull down his defenses. Republic munitions are stockpiled at his camps, defended by the Cathar's best warriors. Republic combat droids, too. Without those weapons, the Cathar and Bashun are vulnerable. We need to take them out now. Bashun will soon be weaponless. This mission is too important to let you mess it up. I'm going as well. Let us see who can exterminate more of Bashun's best warriors. I'll bet my pay that you lose. There's no doubt who's the better Sith, my lord. Devastate the Cathar's weapons, put Thana in her place. I took out the Cathar's weaponry. They're defenseless. Don't try taking all the credit. 
I smashed more than my share of munitions. Excellent work, both of you. Though I'm sorry you didn't kill enough Cathar to win Thana's little game. Not even close. So, what now? Don't change the subject. Drop the attitude. We have to hit Bashun now, before the Republic rearms the Cathar. Sounds like a job for the Imperial Infantry. They're tied up in the field. Besides, this operation demands expertise. Bashuns and his rep-killing Imperials, Mandalorians, Sith. And that's when we took him by surprise. Now he's entrenched in a Republic base, building his defense. Only the Empire's best can take him down. I'm the best there is. Leave Bashun's death to me. Our combined power will wipe the Cathar off Terrace. Wise call, my lord. I suggest you take the lead. Fana, provide backup. Not a chance. I'll slay this Cathar before you step inside his base. She's beyond my control. See that Bashun's killed and don't let Fana compromise the mission. The Empire's trying to drive us from Terrace. From our homes. Soon they'll learn that Cathar never backed down. Keep talking, Bashun. When I get out of here, I'll stomp out your entire species. The Empire sent this Sith to kill me. But she failed. Proof that none can defeat the mighty Cathar. Your defiance is foolish. And misplaced. The Empire just doesn't know when to quit. You know, Cathar aren't the only settlers on Terrace. The Nikto have joined us, along with their Morgukai warriors. We're all refugees, fleeing the Empire's cruelty. And I promise you, my Cathar, we won't be uprooted again. Nice speech. Uplifting, really. But they'll be disappointed when I kill you. Don't be so sure. I have the Morgukai and the Republic on my side. Watch closely, fellow Cathar. Witness our enemy's downfall. Not over. Keep fighting. Use your last breath to save your followers. Make them leave Terrace, or we'll kill them all. I suppose there must be another planet they can call home. Fellow settlers, the Empire's won. Lay down your weapons. Leave Terrace while you still can. I'm sorry I failed you. They'd better run fast. I'll kill every straggler I find. But first, I could use a hand over here. Let me out. Please. Since you asked nicely. Ah, <sighs> much better. Blasted Morgakai jumped me when I had Bashun pinned down. Don't say thank you, or anything. No one's ever earned my thanks. Least of all you. Now, there's Republic blood to spill. I tell you to back off, but you'll just follow me anyway. See you on the battlefield. They intercepted Bashun's final transmission. Magnificent work. I've never seen such a strong warrior broken so fast. The Cathar listened to him. They're fleeing Taras. There was much bloodshed. I know. Bashun broadcasted his defeat across Taris. I recorded a copy for Imperial Records. Lord Gravis expects you to lead our final attack. Regretfully, I can't join you. My duties here, wiping out any resisting Cathar. Head to the Republic outskirts. Meet Lord Shathan. When flames and evac shuttles choke the skies, 
I'll know you've crushed the Republic base. Lord Shathin at your service. I was relieved to hear you'll be leading our assault. If your command of the force is any indication, this will be a proud day for all Sith. Darth Gravus, your friend has arrived. You've performed well. Taris is scarred. The Republic support weakened. I trust you're ready to deliver the killing blow. How do you plan on breaking the Republic? We will crush the Republic reconstruction and the Jedi responsible. Thanks to you, they're cornered in their base. Their final sanctuary on Taris. And soon to be their tomb. Don't worry, Gravis. I'll tear down their base, then soak Terrace with Republic blood. Who invited you, Thana? Terrace is my hunting ground. I go where I want. Thana, I knew you'd come running at the first scent of blood. Unfortunately, the base's approach is infested with Republic forces. They're blocking our army's advance. Rain bombs on their heads. They're shielded. Only close combat will work. Shields are not. I want them pulverized. Without their defenses, Tharna can catch the Republic forces off guard. Break the machines if you want. I'm more of a blood and bruises woman. Clear the battlefield, then we'll hit the Republic base and finally drive them off Taris. Darth Gravis, it appears we're ready. I disabled the Republic's shields. It's all up to Thana now. I killed them all. Didn't even break a sweat. Fantastic work, both of you. We must act quickly before the Republic deploys reinforcements. Lord Shathan, begin the attack. At once, my lord. The final battle for Taris has begun. If we are to demolish this planet, you and Thana must join forces. I'm willing to put aside our differences. If she is. No, you've dragged me down long enough. The Republic's annihilation demands your complete cooperation, Thana. I'll help, Gravis, if only to prepare for the day I strike you down. Splendid. Your mission is twofold. Blow up the Republic spaceport, and eliminate the leader of their reconstruction efforts. A powerful Jedi Master named Serik. I suppose you have this all figured out though, right? The energy reserve needed to rebuild a planet is highly unstable. Thana will overload it, with your assistance. Once Master Serik falls, the Republic will be forced to abandon Taris. The Spaceport's destruction will block their reinforcements and trap the doomed survivors here. Darth Gravis, the attack's underway. Republic transports are in orbit, headed for their spaceport. They're trying to flee. If we don't kill Master Serek now, he'll return with a full occupation force. I'll remove Serek and end his pathetic reconstruction. Be careful. That Jedi knows he's fighting for more than himself. Infiltrate the Republic base. Disable the spaceport safety measures. Then meet Thana in the lower levels. Only together can you destroy the Republic's dreams. And don't keep me waiting. If you get the chance, take out the Republic's assault cannons. They're making life painful for our boys. Under control. We need to kill Sarek and blow this place now. Way ahead of you. Since you finally disabled the Republic's safety measures, I can force their power grid to go critical and. What? Ugh. The spaceport's set to blow, but those blasted Jedi installed a failsafe. 
Let's find Sarek and rip the override code from his dead hands. Calm the evacuees. The transports will be ready any moment now. The Republic will not lose Terrace. Didn't mean to interrupt your speech. Please continue. So, the Empire finally plays its last hand. Your mockery won't shake us. But my lightsaber will. Darth Gravis is amazingly predictable. This is a trap, and you walked right into it. The evacuation transports that arrived weren't empty. They brought friends, ready to defend Terrace. Perhaps you're familiar with them? You'd need an entire fleet of reinforcements to take me down. I think we'll do just fine. This is it! Defend Terrace with your lives! there aren't more of them. I was just getting warmed up. And what do we have here? Ah, Sarek's failsafe code. This in and there. The power is over here. So long, Republic. I have to admit, you were actually useful. I always deliver. You'd know that if. Wait a second. Those transports that brought Serex back up, they're loaded with civilians. They're actually trying to open the hangar. They'll escape the explosion. Open the hangar. They've already lost enough. You really know how to sap the joy out of a good massacre. The hangar's open. And there they go. What a waste. Anyway, this place is about to explode. Much as I'd like to see you disintegrated, I suggest you run. Or stay. See if I care. The galaxy is a big place. Try not to get killed. I can take care of myself just fine. Sarek's gone, and his spaceport is in flames. Magnificent. I hear you demolish their assault cannons too. Crushing their base will be easy now. Darth Gravis will want to hear the details. That I do. But first, I want to personally thank our champion. With Master Sarek's death, this planet's reconstruction will crumble. The civilians who escaped will spread news of his defeat. Soon, Taris will be completely ruined. A tribute to the power of the Sith, the Empire, and you. Glad to hear it. Your victory will be long remembered. With the Republic crushed, we can destroy this planet in peace. Especially now that Thana's gone on to torment another world. Thanks to your actions, Taris will stand as a shining testament to the Empire's supremacy. And like Darth Malak. You'll be remembered as the Sith responsible for securing this planet's destruction.